Right. Good, good morning. I'm, I'm Angela Vinsinga, a postdoc researcher from Hyderabad University of Sri Lanka. Uh, we are a group of scientists from Sri Lanka, USA, UK, and from Denmark working together uh, more than a decade to find solution for pesticide suicide. In this particular study, we aim to design an effective interventions that might be reduce access to pesticides from shops for self poisoning. As we are, pesticide itself killing 150,000 people uh, and another. 3 billion people attempt suicide by addition of pesticides, uh, especially in Asian countries. Um, among them, uh, around 20% of patients directly purchase pesticides from shops for self poisoning. To the best of our knowledge, uh, the ZIPAL study tried to find an effective intervention uh, to the issue. We followed uh, UK's MRC guidelines, Medical Research Council guidelines, to develop. Complex, complex public health interventions. And we conducted the series of studies in Sri Lanka. Our first study was qualitative, uh, and that was followed by a case control study to identify risk factors that are associated uh, with the uh, high risk purchase. And that was followed by a stakeholder analysis to find the most promising interventions, and, and finally, the pilot study to examine. Uh, the most feasible or favored intervention. The first four studies actually design and develop a potential intervention. And the last step was a stepage cluster randomized control trial that has been uh, is an ongoing study to test the effectiveness of the intervention. We found that uh, very two clear risk factors buying pesticides from shops for self poisoning being intoxicated at the time of purchase. Uh, at very high ratios, adjusted ratio of 36.5 and being an unfarm again, high ratio 13.3. So these two risk factors, I mean, these are the hardest people actually we really want to avoid buying pesticides from shops. Uh, so based on these two risk factors, we could uh, propose uh, four potential interventions, farm ID cards, that is really uh, avoid non-farmers buying pesticides. Prescription is similar to the medicine prescription, cooling ops and gatekeeper training for pesticide vendors. And stakeholders preferred on gatekeeper training options. So we uh, tested this approach in 14 shops in three months. Uh, at the end of three months follow up, vendors reported that they have prevented seven suicide attempts. So uh, this is something like a promising intervention. Now, uh, what we're actually doing, uh, doing is uh, uh, testing this approach in a large scale, uh, large control trial now set up in a, uh, six districts which covers 3.81 million population. So the information gained from this RCT uh, will we we'll directly talk about 40% of suicide, that is something like 60,000 deaths uh, every year. So if the intervention is effective, that might be saving many lives, uh, uh, especially in Asian countries. Uh, we kindly acknowledge the funding support from American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Thank you.